Hi, I'm a late spud. Uh, I am currently just heads up sick right now. Uh, oh, if no. I cough a little bit, you know, uh, I apologize in advance. I got a cough drop ready, but uh, hopefully we're going to get you some good Luigi's Mansion gameplay today. I'm joined on commentary by Lee. Hello, I'm Lee, aka 20 something loser and happy to be here. Uh, Lee helped me out with the uh, Fright Fatals run last October, I believe, which was the NTSC version of the game. Uh, this is the PAL version. If you have no idea about Luigi's Mansion being uh, different between regions, uh, you're about to have your mind blown because this game was a launch title for the GameCube and it had like five, six months in between releasing in America and Europe. So Nintendo had a lot of time to like keep developing this game and they really put the polish on it and made this kind of like the definitive edition of the game so get ready for a rom hack of an experience uh, think super mario bros lost levels uh, that's pretty much what we're about to see and if everyone else is ready i am going to count down three two one go All right, as usual with Luigi's Mansion speedruns, if you are uh, not paying attention, I did a very important menu there, doubly important for Pal, because when Egad asks me where I want to go, I want to pick... Oh, frick! Oh, I need to do... We have an incentive, don't we? We do! Yeah, almost, yeah, okay, almost. What that, what that language choice? I was trying to read the language that you had on, and but... <laughs> Hold on. We have Italian, right? Italian was winning? <laughs> We do have Italian, and I will just go. I'm just going to cut in and say we are four hundred and fifty-five dollars away from unlocking Link's Awakening DX! Exclamation mark! Donate. We are so close, chat. We can get this within the first couple minutes. Y'all are heckin' awesome, and thank you so much for your super charitable donations to get, in fact, Italian. Awesome. No, I normally we run this game on French, so it's it is fresh to see Italian. <laughs> Anything else that I've forgotten about that we can uh, talk about beforehand? Otherwise, I'll start. No, nope, just, I've just got some love ready and waiting for you for the next time I can jump in. Awesome. Three, two, one, go. For real this time. So the uh, second dialogue option there that Egan asks us, asks us is the Hidden Mansion. You can tell I'm in the Hidden Mansion by that little star in the bottom right corner. Uh, it's very important on the PAL version because all of the PAL speedrun categories are performed on the Hidden Mansion. In American version, it makes you take double damage. It makes your vacuum twice as powerful. In Japanese, it just makes your vacuum twice as powerful, so it's not even like a hard mode. In PAL, as we usually say, it's a whole thing. It basically changes the whole game. If you've ever seen a speedrun of this game before, or this game in general, you already notice that something is wrong uh, because everything is mirrored right to left. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We're going to see a whole lot of stuff that looks weird. We're also going to be collecting money. It's a 100% category. I'll talk about money later. So like that orange guy, that orange guy is normally there. That's, that's not a big deal. This pink guy is not usually here, though, in NTSC. That's kind of weird. Usually he shows up in the next room. And then we've got a blue guy here. This blue twirler, normally blue twirlers don't show up until area four, and now they're in the first room of the game? Uh, that should be an indication of what we're dealing with here. So we're on, honestly like right onto our first hard room of the run. It, it only lasts like one room until it gets hard. Got another twirler. Oh, there's the mice. The mice are not there in other versions of the game, and they can just decide to mess you up. Second try. That sounded pretty good. Got three guys here. Oh, I didn't get my triple. Okay, we are off script. We're getting punched. We're already at 60 HP. Of course we are. We're taking double damage. Cool. All right. Pick up these hearts. Go a little slow. I do not want to die in area one. Uh, dying is a real problem throughout this entire run. I'll be taking lots of safety saves when I can. And I mentioned money earlier. This is a 100% category, and 100% categories in Luigi's Mansion are kind of uh, not really 100% in the sense of you get everything. It is most of the stuff. We want the highest rank mansion, which requires in this version of the game that we get about 80% of the money. <coughs> 
And in PAL, 80% of the money is 150 million money, which is more than in the NTSC version, like, at all. And the reason there's more is because every Speedy Spirit and Golden Mouse in PAL version drops a silver diamond. So there are, like, over 30, I think, silver diamonds in total in this version, and, like, 180 million total money in the game. So we're going to be doing a lot of side movement into rooms that we normally wouldn't, like, go mess around in. Uh, most of all, the study coming up, normally we just go get Neville and move on with our lives and, like, get the key and leave, but there's a lot of money in this room that we normally don't get, and in PAL, it's extra valuable. So we're going to be going in the corner of the room back here, picking up the speedy spirit. He drops a diamond, and then we're going to scan this cheese. That'll be another diamond. Pick up this first one. And if I'm going fast enough, I can get Neville on a good cycle here. Come on, there it goes. I'm going to get that diamond in a second. We also have the pearls that drop from the portrait ghosts. And if we get 90 HP in one pull, we get the large pearl. The large pearl is only worth 1 million compared to the 2 million of the uh, silver diamonds. So in the grand scheme of things, not that valuable, but they are very important to our money route because the silver diamonds that I'm skipping, uh, there's not very many of them. And the backups later in the game take a quite a while. So if I do end up dropping a lot of pearls, I will be spending a lot of time to make up that money. Have you ever seen the PAL version, Lee? We have not seen the PAL version, so this is uh, all new to me. Um, I obviously have seen you, the, the previous run that you showed off at Fright Fatales, but I have not seen anything in regards to the PAL version, which is pretty cool. So unfortunately, they don't change the portrait ghosts, but they do change the area bosses, so Chauncey's going to be a new experience here. Oh. I remember, yeah, I remember yeah. Chauncey from the last one. This is something a little different. We skip a text box by doing our little movement in the corner here. He doesn't talk to us when he shows up. <coughs> and here we are. This is home to the toughest strat that I'm going to be doing in the game, uh, the Chauncey one cycle. <coughs> This is a double frame perfect trick. I have not hit it very often. Uh, I've gotten worse at it, I think, since like taking a break from the game and I just never got my, uh, my skill back. But uh, essentially I'm listening for an audio cue for Chauncey to forcibly break off uh, that prevents us from normally doing a one cycle on him. And if I do a double frame perfect input on my right trigger, I can trick the game into thinking I ne never actually let go. So these rocking horses do a little boogie-woogie side-to-side, and they're huge. Ah, I was late there, so we're gonna have to see the second cycle of Chauncey, which is cool because uh, in PAL he does this really fast. Oh! Yeah, that's, that's certainly something different. <laughs> it's kind of like a fever dream. Nah, I do want to take intentional damage, just not there. I can save my iframes by tapping on the wall. Should have enough. Come on, Luigi. All right, we're out of there. there we go. So that was area one. We <laughs> took 50 something damage, 40 something damage there. Nice. Mind if I cut it with a quick update for everybody? Yeah, please and a little do. bit of love for you. Oh. Chat, we are, when I say we're $195 away from unlocking Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, we're $195 away. We are that close, and we, I know we're going to get there super soon. Um, and actually, just again, some love for Spud, who's just doing amazing work. Uh, speaking of ghosts, the Rainbow Ghost donated $25 with Spud! I'm so excited to see you on the speedrunning stage once again. It's been awesome seeing your progress over the last couple of years. I hope Angie smiles down on you and blesses this run with good RNG and makes many appearances. Good luck and have fun. 
Nevers and Spud announcer couch and chat. Which boo pun is your favorite? Ooh. I don't know what it is in Italian, but I have my answer <laughs> later in the game, if I remember. And that actually helped us out. We are now $145 away, friends. We are getting there. We're so close. Get ready to pop off as soon as we hit that incentive. I get to see my money after every area. Uh, in PAL, all the money thresholds are different. So if you've like played the NTSC version, if you're familiar with how much money you need in 100% there, uh, didn't get lucky there. Looking for Angie, our golden mouse, didn't get him. Uh, I only got 11 million after area one. And I'm looking for 12, so we're already a little bit behind the money pace. Get another diamond down here. Can only get this uh, before the blackout later. And doing it now gives me another couple chances to check for our resident golden mouse, Angie. Listen for that wonderful sound. Maybe we'll get lucky. Another characteristic of the PAL version is that there they are. Please get in the vacuum. Thank you. So getting that mouse makes my life so much easier because that is the one mouse that is really truly random for me in my money route. Uh, if I don't get that, I have to go get a backup that wastes like 45 seconds later. And I check that like eight times at least. And getting it on turn two is wonderful. Oh, didn't get my triple. I can still get something fast though. Oh, hello. Gonna be prioritizing hearts every chance I get. That mushroom's a little ornery. I was trying to say that mushrooms spawn three times as often, I believe, on the PAL version, and they can spawn off of normal ghosts and not just portrait ghosts and not just out of furniture. So if it looks like there's a lot of mushrooms on screen or like repeatedly over and over, that's why. They are, they're just brutal and they're a source of many resets because they just waste like 15 seconds every time you get hit by one. This room isn't tremendously different in the PAL version. Uh, there are little flying guys around just kind of hanging out and they'll just charge you and ruin your suck up at some point. Luigi will lock on to them. It's wonderful stuff. And I want to make sure I clear them out. I got all my shy guy doubles. I want to make sure I clear all these guys out before I go for the portrait ghosts in here. And also we are now $100 away, chat. Literally $100 away. Link's Awakening DX is a good game. It is a very good game. $75 away now. Chat making a liar out of me and I love it. <laughs> this is a hard room. I'll let it speak for itself. Let's see if I can get this triple off the start. Oh, I goofed something up. We still might be able to. Yeah, nope, we're going off the rails. Come on, get the green guy. Oh, he's gone. I practiced the crap out of this room earlier and it's not showing. It's okay, there's a lot of chances to save time. This run uh, is fairly Unoptimized is a word. Um, it's unexplored. There's not a lot of players who actually have played the PAL version. I think probably just because it's a, a bit of a pain to get working. So you can make a lot of mistakes and still feel like you're getting a good time because it's just that hard. Oh, my, oh, nope, nope, Luigi fell on that. Garbage can ghosts in, in mass are just quite a pain to deal with. That one's in the corner. Shouldn't hit that one. There we go. Okay, we're out of the woods here. There we go. We did get fortunate with our luck, like, earlier, so... Didn't lose overall too much time for me. My ultimate goal in this game uh, has been to get a top five in this category. And I'm still well within that. 
possibility. Uh, we get our boo friends here. These are another... Oh, hello, Loki. Loki's going to make an appearance. Right on time. My wonderful cat who loves to stand in front of the screen. Uh, the boos are another change in PAL. Uh, they all have shuffled health values. So some of them that didn't have a lot of health now have a ton of health. <laughs> He's stealing my cough drop. Um, so the first boo that we encounter upstairs is going to actually have 150 which means that he's very, very difficult to one cycle and pretty unanimously every boo in the game is much, much faster than they are in DSC. So that 150 boo is actually one of the hardest ones to catch. And it's the first one we go see in typical Nintendo fashion. And there is a way to like skip the dialogue of EGAD after you catch a boo in NTSC version, but this guy is just so hard to one cycle, it's not even worth setting up because the odds of this one staying in the room is basically so low, it's gone. Oh, it went right too? Really? Oh no. Making me suffer today. <laughs> we are just getting the worst RNG. I, I did get the mouse. I can't complain too much, but I am going to have to make a detour over to the study to pick up that boo. <coughs> Would you like some love from uh, some wonderful donations? Oh, the game's not giving it to me. Send it my way. <laughs> that is the moodest mood to have ever mooded. Uh, but we are officially dollars now away from hitting that incentive for uh, Link's Awakening DX. And we have some love from Chuckles W73 donating $25 with good luck, Spud. If you had to guess, what Genesis album do you think is the Luigi's favorite? Is he on Team Peter Gabriel or Team Phil Collins? He's asking the real questions there. Mario. Hmm. I mean, see, Mario's definitely a Phil Collins fan. I don't know about <laughs> Luigi, though. <laughs> We also have another $25 from Jordan who donated and said, Elite Spud with the Elite Luigi's Mansion category. Let's hope to see max percent in the next GDQ. Shout outs to all my money grabbers. Good luck on getting, oh geez, 150 million G and maybe soon 142 million 390,000 NTSC max percent or 186 million 440,000 pal max percent. Those are oddly specific numbers. Thank you for that, Jordan. Those are weird numbers. Uh, I don't even know if the people who run Max Percent memorize it. Uh, Max Percent is kind of a hot category right now. It's where you get literally every piece of money in the game. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, jeez. So all the stuff I'm skipping, yeah, if you if you let one coin despawn, you got, you got to reset. You got to save constantly just in case. I mean, in that case, I, I'd, I'd quote CC's $10 donation when they say, Mamma Mia! <laughs> and also, $45 away now, chat! Exclamation park, donate, and let's, let's break the 58k barrier, friends! We can do it! Okay. We're starting to get good luck again. We have a couple first try boos. Awesome. Cool. So we did waste a little time going into the study, but we're going to get some of that time back later because I caught the other boo that lives in there normally while I was there. So I don't have to go back in that room anymore. Oh, oh friends! I, I kind of have to cut in really quickly because. Please do. We are not ending with Luigi's Mansion tonight anymore. We have officially unlocked the bonus game. We have broken 58,000. We are going to be seeing The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX because of your charitable donations chat. So pop off and give yourself a pat on the back or your or your best emotes. I'm fine with either or. Mario. So congrats. Everybody's been coming. Everybody's been coming in great with the donations this year. Yeah, and you are getting so much love. It is awesome, <laughs> not gonna lie. It's good to hear. Very careful, Let's see if I can set up a quad. Perfect. 
There's only two waves in this room in PAL, but one of them is much more difficult. Let's see if we can do our wonderful save warp. Oop, I think we're good. Cool, so I touched that medallion and Egad's gonna call me and ask to save. I'm gonna oblige and then I'm gonna reset. And now uh, I've technically collected that medallion and he didn't tell me how to use it. So I can just never look at the mirror room again. Don't have to solve the puzzle in there, nothing. You're out. Oh, don't suck that up, Luigi. There's sparks everywhere in the hallways in PAL and they look just like fire ghosts. So sometimes they just want to introduce themselves to your vacuum and you don't want them to. We are on a global cycle right now. I had pretty good candles there. Uh, the candlestick in the hallway I saw earlier. <coughs> I'm gonna go run all the way down here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Run all the way down here and light them. Oh dear. I actually hit, hit them somehow off screen. Nice. And now that butler who's holding the candlestick is going to walk down the hallway. Same way I'm going right now. Another feature of PAL is that explosions are twice as big, so if it looked like I could have dodged that, no way. It takes up the entire hallway. And while the, the butler is running over here, oh, I did not do this room right. I'm going to clean up this room. In the meantime, hopefully catch him on cycle right as he sits down. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do like in between cycles here. Yeah, I need to hurry. Cool. I'm not going to worry about the mouse hole. Uh, I am going to collect a little extra money. Please don't hit me green guys. These guys are not normally here. Good. They hit me in my practice run. And make you drop the pearl. Now that gem there was just blue. Is that like a different mm -hmm. money amount? For that yeah. one in comparison to the, the diamonds we were picking up. Yep, we're going to see all three colors of the gems. There's two types of diamonds, and the diamonds are the most valuable. But the I'm going to see all three types in this next room, actually. we got red, green, and blue. Blue are the least valuable, but that one's just kind of there, so it, we get it anyway. Uh, blues are 500,000, uh, greens are 800, and reds are 1 million. Reds are the same as a large pearl. And I think we pick up every single red pearl, red gem in this uh, run. There's only five, I think, in PAL. This room actually gets easier, in my opinion. Normally there's like ghosts that are weak to fire in here, but no, they just put Shy Guys in here, and the Shy Guys are so slow. There we go. Get all the loose money, and then we're going to see blue. And then green and red. That boo moved. Every time you hear a cackle, uh, the boo relocates itself. So if I'm paying attention to my boo radar in the bottom right corner, I can tell, like say I'm looking at something and I hear the cackle, if it doesn't move and like the thing I'm looking at still keeps flashing, then I know it's not real because it must be the fake and the fake doesn't move. But if I'm looking at something and it like stops flashing, then I know the boo was in there and I uh, just was a hair too late. All right, these last couple rooms have done, have worked pretty good, gone pretty good. Every time I'm at 100 HP, I'm also just rejoicing because like that, I just hit a random mouse and took 10 damage. The only way to reliably get, get hearts in this game, at least until area three, are uh, to get du doubles and triples and like quads of ghosts. Uh, nor like standard heart drops in PAL are very rare. So if you like open furniture and stuff normally in the base game, you can get hearts out of that. And sometimes you'll get like 20 HP hearts, um, but in PAL they're always 10 HP hearts and they're not very common. So as you get better at the game, especially so in PAL, like you get more 
pearls because you're just better at sucking up the ghosts, but you also don't die as much. And when I first started playing this, I died constantly, especially at the end of the game. No, I did not learn to read Italian spontaneously. Um, that is always the first option when she plays that song. I'm glad I was listening because if I wasn't, I might have gotten a little confused. I, I want to check this for money actually because I was kind of money poor earlier. Oh, yeah. oh, this one's not. I had to compliment the booze. Please be in there. It's gonna move. Uh, all the way across the room. Okay, it didn't move on me at least. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Uh, I've had my respite. I'm about to go into a very hectic section. The kitchen is one of the hardest rooms that I had starting out. And uh, the kitchen's on the table next. Gotta get some extra money in the dining room first, and then we're gonna activate another like global cycle. Did you, want, did you want me to cut in with some donations and announcements and give you some time to sure. focus? Sure. Perfect. All right. Well, chat, I am a big fan of round numbers and we hit 58,000 so quickly. We unlocked Link's Awakening, but we're not done. Because I like round numbers, I'm throwing down the gauntlet for you. If we hit $60,000, so 2,000 more. We get a glitch showcase tomorrow with Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and I see somebody has beat me to the punch and has already donated to it. It's a save room glitch showcase for Castlevania Symphony of the Night. They'll be shown tomorrow, which is going to be super, super, super cool. The gauntlet's been thrown, the whip has been thrown, the holy water's been thrown. I want to see it all. But in the meantime, let's go back and giving to giving some loving, loving, love, loving, loving, love, some love for Elite Spud for this absolutely amazing run. Uh, Bobo has donated $25 and said, you know, I've never seen Elite Spud's run before, runs before, but I'm already super impressed with their commentary on the differences in the PAL version. Keep dropping the facts and good luck on the run. Thank you for that. Um, Library Nerd has commented with $25 and said, I read Luigi as a Herb Albert fan. That'd be a weird Genesis mashup, though. I agree. That would be kind of weird. Um, we also have Osborne donating $5 and saying, Hey, Spud, do you ever think about how Luigi gets tricked into a haunted mansion three times? Do you think he just likes hunting ghosts? For someone so scared of everything, he seems to never learn from his mistakes. Good luck on the run! I absolutely love your streams, and I know you're going to crush it. Can't wait to see what you do next. Your friend, Oz. Thanks, Thanks Oz. Thanks, Oz. We also... We didn't make that. I actually had a gold split there. That was the best section I've ever had. GG! Isn't that nice? Yeah. Chat, give some love for a gold wait. split. There we go. <gasps> Listening for lugs to do one fireball there. So I can do this at the same time. Don't get hit by that. Cool. Now if I don't catch him fast enough, that diamond's gone. And if I don't catch the, like, open, get uh, that. If I don't make the diamond spawn fast enough, then Mr. Lugs will start his cycle again. So it's very, very particular when you need to go in that room. Cool. I'm gonna skip this boo for now. Uh, you might have seen me going in and out of the like, kitchen door multiple times. I actually only had to do it twice there, which is very lucky. Uh, I was trying to force spawn a golden mouse that shows up when you enter the kitchen. And it's a one in five. I have spent up to 13 tries or more doing that. And I just got lucky and got it in two tries. So nice. That's mainly why the gold split happened. Took intentional damage there, makes us uh, Spooky the dog show his heart faster. There we go. And I, re I, re I kind of learned a couple ghost names in, uh, in French, but uh, I don't know any in Italian. It would be cool to look up the differences. There's a lot of good, good French names. Yeah, Chad, if you got some great ghost names, we'd love to hear them. Just saying.
Uh, interestingly, skeletons don't drop hearts in this version. I think maybe not at all in the Luigi's Mansion. So like, even though I'm catching two of these at once, you don't heal off of them. So if you go into the graveyard here at low health, it's very harrowing. We are at the end of area two. Um, every area boss is different. Uh, you saw what Chauncey had in store. Bogmire is the least affected, I think. Um, his gimmick is that he, sh he disappears like immediately after he shows up. It's very, very short. And if I actually dawdle too much on the way over to shoot him with the first like shadow ball, then he's just going to disappear right in front of me. And catching him when he's off script like that is a big pain in the butt. Hopefully we get him in one cycle. Bogmire one cycle is not too hard. There we go. Went right into the wall for a minute there and made it easy. Nice. Well, if you got more donations, send them my way. Oh, we have again so much love for you. Uh, Something Wicked with $25 says, Best of luck on your Luigi run, Elite Spud. The IRL Tater Tot and I both love you very much. So proud to see you running Luigi for Frost Fatales for the second year in a row. Also, quick question Have you heard of this guy called Van Gore? Hmm. Interesting question. Uh, Anonymous donates twenty-five dollars and says, "Let's hit that milestone. We did. So we unlocked another one. We're gonna, Chad. I think we're gonna hit sixty k tonight. I'd like to see some nice round numbers, and sixty k is a very nice round number. So thank you for that donation, Anonymous. Uh, we also have Kai runs donating fifty dollars and says the money grabbers at it again." Uh, hope Buttley Mouse actually shows up quickly this time. Good luck! Then Polar Like donates $25 with the comment, It would be kind of cool to become filthy stinking rich after cleaning up a haunted mansion, even if the pal hidden mansion is uh, nightmare fuel. Good luck, Spud, and I hope Angie isn't too shy for the big stage. Thank you, Polar. Again, as a reminder, we've unlocked the Save Room Glitch Showcase. Uh, well, we've opened the Save, Save Room Glitch Showcase for Castlevania Symphony Night tomorrow. So we need to hit $2,000, and that would put us at $60,000, which would be super cool to hit tonight, chat. Remember, exclamation mark, donate in chat, and make sure you're putting your donation towards that Glitch Showcase. Since we just got another little cat feature here, I will say there was a chat message earlier that said Tass, nah, Cass, and then it put cat assisted speedrun, which is cat assisted speedrun every day, know. pretty much, even when Loki's involved. Loki is my uh, when I, when I turn my webcam off on stream. Loki is the picture that takes the place of it. He he's got the best best face. the emote I made of him <laughs> chat right there. Aww. I love that cat. Oh, which is a good oh cat. Oh my god, that's incredible. Usually he likes to show up at the end of the game, so I'm happy he went and got in his box early. <laughs> uh, so the, that cutscene, actually, the way we play the PAL version, I didn't get to point it out while it was happening, the way we play the PAL version removes the loading lag. Ow. That dude just dive-bombed me. Uh, so that cutscene, the music is like supposed to go with the animation, but the, the animation lags because this was a launch title GameCube like game and they didn't have it figured out quite yet. So they just slowed the music down to compensate for the lag. But when you remove the lag, it's like all out of whack and it looks funny. It ends early. Okay, this key is very important. It is a shortcut key. If you've played this game casually and didn't get this, you probably did not have fun in Area 3 and 4. We're actually not going to go through the shortcut door, like, immediately. It takes until the end of Area 3 to go through it in PAL because there is a route change compared to uh, the NTSC version. We do the Area 3 stuff 
a little differently because there's special ghosts that have been swapped around in like the second floor hallway. And some of them are weak to fire when there weren't any weak to fire in that room before. So we have to go get our fire at weird times, which means we get our ice at weird times. And ultimately we don't come back down here. We don't walk down here. We mirror warp out and go do some other stuff and then come back up through this door. Can we get the swag shot? Nice, shot a door through the floor there, and it is extinguished. That is purely for swag and pal, because we don't actually need to go through that door yet. Sometimes you just have to throw the swag down. Oh, Luigi, please. Oh, I got rid of the fire ghost, please. No, I got rid of the candle, Luigi. Come on, buddy. And I don't, don't suck up the spark again. Oh, I'm scared. Luigi, no. I'm going downstairs. You know what? That hallway is scary, and it is only getting more scary. I'm going down here. <laughs> there we go. Get another check at that golden mouse while, uh, while we're there. Not fast at all, but it was safe. I don't want to see anything less than 70 health for what I'm about to deal with in the pal in the uh, pal tea room. Some very hard rooms coming up. Kind of the bane of my existence. Getting this double is a big pain. Wait. Oh, free double. This room's being nice, making up for my slow movement there. Explain third guy. This is a little weird. Oh yeah, really weird. fix this. Okay. I'll take one heart, maybe. There's skeletons in here for some reason. Like, it's interesting how Nintendo shuffled the ghosts around, because, like, you never see skeletons outside the graveyard in the telephone room for some reason in the uh, NTSC version. Now they're in here. Sometimes they just, like, add harder variants of the ghosts that are already there. But this guy's fast. I forget. I always forget this guy can leave super fast. Oh no! Oh, that's really bad. I really want to make sure that guy goes up. I have no. I think it went up. Okay. I'm gonna trust. <laughs> Things are going sideways. You got so this. I get to worry about that for a little bit. <laughs> I get a little respite before the next hard room. Luigi is going to look through the observatory telescope and target acquired. He knows what he wants. I'm gonna go shoot the moon now. It's not the real moon, don't worry. Nice shot, bullseye. I can explode disco moon. Yeah, I think the, the visuals here are supposed to evoke <clears> the, <throat> this is the half of the moon. It's so dark, it's hard to see. Um, another thing about the PAL version is that they like really jacked up the contrast. So if, if the game looks darker than usual, it's not my capture, it's not your TV, it's nothing like that. Nintendo just made it unbearably dark. So it's really hard to see some details sometimes. Okay, I, I honestly wish I had more fire. Um, I'm gonna have to make do because I don't want to go get more. This is uh, one of the hardest rooms in the game, I think. And I have my own strat for the first part of it. See if it goes well. And intentionally get grabbed here, take damage, kick that guy back off, get this double. Get a couple hearts while I'm waiting. And then we got guys that are weak to fire here. As long as I hit them with the fire, I can technically get through this room. I really would like to conserve it and burn all of these guys down. I need to leave one shy guy alive, at least one shy guy. I think I got my dude over here. So pull that guy's mask off, he'll disappear. And I want this mouse while he's showing back up. 
Okay, I actually got out of here without losing that much HP. Sometimes you can get bullied in this room and get down to like 20 HP and it is not a good time. Here's my dude. Oh, he poked me. Luigi is locking onto everything except the shy guy. Typical Luigi. He looks at everything. <laughs> okay, 66 HP is fine. Would have liked to have been 86, but... I did have fine money uh, after Area 2. I was like almost to 46 million. <coughs> Which is my threshold for having a good time. So I did rebound a bit. I still don't want to skimp on money. It looks like this boo moved directly in front of me as well, based on what the radar is doing right now. Now I can get my ice, because I didn't wasn't able to get in here until I had that fire. We are on our way. Fingers crossed that boo actually went up. While you're looking, I want to give a, a quick uh, cut in from Robert, who donated $50, and I think uh, speaks for everyone says, Get well soon, Elite Spud. Thank you for running this game for us, even when you have a cold. Like, you are a trooper for doing this, so thank you so much. Through the power of Dayquil, I shall persevere. <laughs> Mood right there. We spent a little extra time in Nana's room getting that speedy spirit. It's, uh, it, this, also, this category is also kind of a nice entryway into doing something like max percent because you get to learn all of the all of the locations. Good, that's the dude I wanted to see in here. It's the guy that was uh, escaping from that other room. Or maybe vice versa, max percent kind of primes you for this category because you already know where all the speedy spirits are. And you can, like, do some stuff uh, off the script if you need to. <laughs> I'm just going to safety save here. So apparently Van Gore in this, in the Italian, is a Van Gogh. I did not know that. But uh, that is Egad's longest text message he can uh, say after we catch a boo. We don't want to see that text. Apparently my dog doesn't want to hear yeah. my dog doesn't want to hear the long text either. <laughs> oh, there's a pearl in there. I kinda want that pearl. There's two me mediums in here. Come on, Luigi. Come on. Here we go. So we're mirror warping out of here. Uh, we do want to keep our ice, so that's a bonus, I believe. But uh, the main reason is just because like we don't do Petunia early. So we're going to go up here, and I can skip that room I did earlier. So we're actually going to save a little bit of time and go straight into the twins' room here. And my favorite sound in the game... I'm sure everybody has their own, like, when you play a game, especially a speedrun game, over and over and over, you get attached to certain sounds, like this one. <coughs> oh, I like that! <coughs> and you only hear that twice, but I, uh, oh, yeah. but I just love times. it. <laughs> The key pickup sound is also really good in this game, especially like the ones that you get after the area bosses. Really want my diamond before I mess with Henry here. Cool, got everything else out too. Oh, that bomb is right on top of me. Get out of the plane, Orville. Please, 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 please. Nope, he's, all right, let's reset. Here we go. Luigi was like trailing him just behind the the plane, I think, and it wasn't working. Gotcha. <laughs> so 
So I'm not sure uh, what the name is. I mentioned it earlier in Italian. Uh, favorite boo names. There's a lot of good boo puns. Like the one in the next room is going to be Turbu, which I believe it is in multiple languages. It is in French as well. And that boo is like notoriously extremely fast, which makes sense. They're named Turbu. <coughs> so I'm going to have no mercy on this boo. We're going to R pump very fast just so they don't get away. All that uh, technique I've been doing with the R pumping uh, to keep the booze in place is also extremely easy. It just, uh, it's very easy to learn if you ever play this game casually. Highly recommend it. It's going to be critical for our Area 4 booze. It's kind of just nice to have on these early ones, though. But my favorite boo pun is, um, in English, the, like, third and second last booze you get are, I think, Bolivia and Boothia, and they're, like... You know which one is your which one is best girl? You have to ask. <laughs> I like that. Um, but in French, they they changed the name of Bolivia to Booker. Nice. <laughs> and it's just the worst. She didn't deserve that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like, did somebody have a have a beef there? They just they couldn't vacuum up the boo. Done, done dirty, honestly. Right? That's really frustrated with Olivia and instead decided to name her Booger. Oh, that horrible split here. I think I'm gonna have to two cycles. Where's that yellow ball? Oh, it's there. Oh, oh, the boo moved. I think it's on the other side of the room now. It wasn't in the spot I was trying to look for anyway. <coughs> oh, it's on the dartboard. So I have 17 diamonds. Normally there's only, I think, five silver diamonds in the NTSC version. I'm going to end with 24, ideally. Which is a ton. I have ice for this room, that is good. I have, honestly, very little ice. Wasn't it? Oh, that was a bad move. I did not mean to blow that up. Uh, this room is gonna be interesting. I can get my triple here without, oh, no triple. Where's the guy? I think it was the one I kicked off. This guy is. This cycle, however, is going to be a little crazy. There's six. And we're just gonna roll our own nonsense here. Okay, I can make a double out of that. No, I can't. Alright. I'm out of ice. I did get one more with the ice. Cool. Didn't take a million damage here, that's good. No money in there. Both top and the speakers. Uh, booze can only be in certain pieces of furniture, so they can't be like in the in the lights up on top. And like even all the freestanding furniture isn't fair game sometimes. So learning like where to go into a room to look for them is an acquired skill. It's very fast. I really wish I had ice to catch them. It's just much easier to control. I did not do 100 damage the first time, so hopefully they don't escape into the music room. Good deal. So finally we're going to come back and get this chest. I did skip all this earlier when I caught Mr. Lugs earlier. It's because I'm making a second trip back. And now we're starting to coalesce on like that normal Luigi's Mansion 100% route. Uh, we do this right before we turn in all of our Mario items to clear Voya. I don't want to check for this guy yet. I messed up. I like checking this guy after I have the ice. They're in the hallway. I got to book it though if I don't want them to go somewhere else.
We are going to water our friend the plant outside here. That'll give us a golden diamond in area four. Which is worth 20 million. We cannot afford to skip uh, but one diamond if we really try in PAL. Um, but we're going to get both of them for sure. Uh, it's just not worth it to avoid them. Watering that plant is worth it. Because trying to make up that much money out of like other sources is just way too time consuming. <coughs> More talk about Van Gore. And we get a good donation period here. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so we have we have two donations that got me thinking. I'll mention them right now. We have $50 from Pittman Lionhouse who says, The Ouija's Mansion hits us in, this, in the nostalgia really hard, so we're super happy to see it in the marathon. Those grabby ghosts are the worst. Good luck, Elite Spud, in your search for Mario. That was really bad, but we'll... We'll run with it. Thank you, Pippin Lionhouse. Uh, we also had ten dollars from Agen Drak here, who says it's been a fun time watching this amazing event, and I'm enjoying this green Waluigi. Sorry, green Wa Luigi run. Great job to all the amazing fatales in front of and behind the camera in this event. Thank you so much for your char super charitable donations. And like I said, it got me thinking, and thinking is is always terrifying when I'm the one doing it. So there's always the debate between like, which is the best brother between Mario and Luigi and why it's guaranteed to be Luigi each time. So what I want to hear from you chat with your donations is I'm, I'm a fan of Luigi, specifically the Danny Wells Luigi of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show because I have now dated myself by saying that. I want to hear in your donations either why I'm right and Luigi is the best brother or why I'm wrong and why Mario is better. I'm curious to see where you're gonna fall on that line between Mario and Luigi chat. And, tr and, and see if you can convince me that Mario is the better one even though we all know Luigi can jump higher. So exclamation mark donate in chat. Uh, remember we do have that glitch showcase opened up for Castlevania Symphony of the Night tomorrow. So by all means, definitely put your donation towards that incentive and towards some wonderful prizes that are available for the rest of the night. <laughs> okay. So I'm actually still on pace for a PB, like a, a really good PB at that too. Like all the all the mistakes and like weirdness that's happened somehow has not affected too much. I I, I thank that gold split from earlier for giving me a good time. I'm safety saving here. This is a very hard room coming up, uh, mostly uh, for like phase two. So the cycle two is the one that always gives me trouble. We're headed all the way up to the seal, uh, sorry, not the sealed room, the safari room, where normally there are ghosts that are weak to ice. So same as in NTSC, we do need our ice going up here. But unlike um, the NTSC version, there's a lot of them. There's a ton of them. And if you run out of ice mid room, then you have to just go downstairs and go get more. So I want at least half my ice going up here and I have a full tank. So we're looking good. We're gonna get a mouse before we start. And then here we go. Here's the fun part. Not the hard part, the fun part. Say hello to seven ghosts. Or no, how many is this? Six? Oh, only got five. Get my iframes, keep my iframes going. Easy peasy. And then full health. That's our, our big healing spot at the end of Area 3. You're usually like getting incidental hits the whole time and then finally you get up to this room and get a big 
like super collection of ghosts and get them all, get all your hearts. I, I love the deer head that's just in the back vibing, and Bob had said. Yeah, they actually remade this game on 3DS, and uh, that game uh, should need more runners. If you have a 3DS and want to run that game, uh, Brandino would appreciate some more runners. But uh, <laughs> uh, in the 3DS remake, they make those deer heads like have lights on them to show that they're activated. Otherwise, it's not obvious what you're supposed to do in this room to actually get the ghost, ghost to spawn. Gotcha. Several people get seen. Several people get frustrated. Uh, it's it's the end of the area, so like area boss time, and Bulosis is probably my favorite of the changed bosses. This is probably my favorite part of the PAL uh, game. I wouldn't say the speed run. This part has been kicking my butt lately. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I get a good Bulasis, but Luigi's just gonna jump on the vacuum now. No explanation, he's just scooting. <laughs> and we are extremely fast, and this is extremely fun to do casually, but it's really finicky. That sounded decent. Let's get an extra couple. Not the best. Oh, I missed one, come on. Oh, there's three left. One more, one more. Come on, no! All right, we're gonna see cycle two. It's fine. Yes. this. There's a backup for getting these guys to attack. We turn our back to them. There we go. I uh, missed them. Come on, buddy. Nope. Come on, buddy. There we go. We lost this one of the worst casual bosses, I think. Uh, but scooting around with the vacuum, you can actually catch all those really fast ghosts at the end. It's really fun. And I wish somebody would make a ROM hack of this game where you can just do that around the entire mansion, just hop on the vacuum and scoot. That it would, would be, be beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that would be fantastic. Uh, plenty of time for more donations if you got them. Oh, of course. We have, uh, let's see here, Squeaks the Gee donating $25 with the comment, Luigi's Mansion is a well-loved game in our house. Happy 10 year anniversary to my love who always encourages me to try new games. Thank you, Squeaks, and happy anniversary as well. Let's see, we also have, oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, um, for our wonderful booger, uh, particularly Justice for Booger, we have CC donating $5 on boogers we have. <laughs> so let justice prevail for our lovable boo booger. Booger? Is it booger or booger? I think it's, it's spelled booger in French. I love that so much. <laughs> B-O-O-G-R-E. Which might not even translate to booger. It might be like ogre. I don't know. Oh boy. Okay. 84 million. Uh, I think that's not very good. I think 86 is what I'm usually looking for. I'm going to be on the lookout for a lot more money. I have very, very few bills. I would expect to <clears throat> a good run would have like 700, 700 after getting this plant here. So I'm going to probably be spending some time getting extra money in Area 4. It's very easy to miss your th money threshold in this in this category. There's not a lot of extra money that you just pass by. And I've been checking lots of stuff. I think I've just been getting unlucky. These the coins are mostly worthless. You can think of them like quarters. Uh, one coin is, or one bill is worth four coins. And they're about as plentiful as bills, so there's really no point in fussing over them. Oh, I should have checked something else in there. I missed a money spot. I do need to check my chandeliers, though. There's a couple places that I can, like, recheck on the way up these stairs. Uh, this hallway is now lit up, <coughs> so the bats are gone. And I can give this a shot. Good. Mario! <coughs> 
Uh, we just got a big, long walking section. We're going all the way up to the top of the mansion, and then we're going to go see our friend Grimly and walk all the way to the bottom of the mansion. So if you've got donations, uh, feel free to let them roll for a minute or two. Oh, perfect. I've got uh, Abby donating $200 with just a smiley face. So thank you, Abby, for that smiley face. It's always good to see those. We have also uh, just a reminder that we did unlock that Zelda run from a $25 donation from Bun that says, let's get that Zelda run. So again, we are seeing our bonus game, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, but that does not mean we are done with incentives again. The Slave Room Glitch Showcase for Castlevania Sympathy of the Night is open for tomorrow. So if you want to put your donation towards that exclamation mark donate, and put that donation towards that glitch showcase. It is going to be super cool to watch and I highly recommend it. And for those of you just tuning in, as a reminder, all these donations are going towards the National Women's Law Center, which is a group of advocates, experts, and lawyers who fight for gender justice and they take on issues that are central to the lives of women and girls. It is a fantastic charity and one that we are so happy to be partnering with during this Frost Fatales 2024. So keep those donations coming you have been so wonderful amazing and amazing people and thank you all for your fantastically kind kindness Mario. Hmm. i was debating on going to get Mario. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> can't talk. Uh, debating on whether to go get a Speedy Spirit during the blackout here. There's some that only appear during the blackout. Grimly being very fortunate here. He's completely random and just showed his heart immediately. Uh, but I think I don't need it. I think I'm just going to spend some extra time getting other stuff. I don't think I need a full diamond to make up my money. Mm. All right. We are going to the breaker room, which is kind of notorious in the NTSC version because the boo in there has 200 HP and normally you can only one cycle 150 HP boos, like un unless something else, like they're really slow or something. <clears throat> uh, so there's like, a really complicated strat for catching the breaker boo in one cycle, but in PAL they only have 100. The, the catch is that they're fast, which we don't really care about because we can R pump. <laughs> So this boo is actually kind of a joke in this category. We don't worry about them at all. And I should probably learn about the like tech skip setup because it's so consistent. Where is this guy? Oh, that mouse. Okay. So I'm going to do a little fast R pumps uh, because this one is fast. Do you have ice to keep him more stationary? Please don't mushroom me. Oh! Save me, Egad. You can't get mushroom in cutscenes like when he's talking to you, so oh, rooting for him gotcha. to talk there for the once in my life, rooting for him to talk. <laughs> this room is hard. Uh, this is one of the rooms that's been causing me a lot of problems, but this is one of the hardest rooms in the game, probably top three. I, I remember this room specifically from the last one. It's even... Oh, I didn't do it right. Okay, we're going over here first. I have a new strat. Here we go. Take it. Oh, I didn't get my bonk, but I am going to get my iframes. So we're just going to like ice these guys and walk back here and just... Maybe we can get them all? Nope, we got punched. Okay, this is off the rails. Now, let's not take a million damage, please. Oh, we're taking a million damage. Okay, we're just going to be baby strats here. Oh my god, no. This is what I get for rolling a new strat. My old one wasn't working either. Okay. This room is rude. There's just so much going on here. Normally you can get iframes and just get like a six piece and heal all your HP back that you take intentional damage of, but we're gonna be rocking 30 HP for a while, so I'm gonna actually check for a heart before I leave here. That helps. Give me that. Okay, 40 is much better than 30. At 30, you can't look up. Like Luigi f starts huffing and puffing and, uh, can't hold the vacuum straight up in the air and that's really bad for certain rooms because we need to look up at the ceiling to like hit ghosts hanging from the ceiling as long as i can keep my 40 i'll be happy uh 
I just want to say thinking we, about safety. Go ahead. Oops, no, I just want to say we uh, just re- actually received a one hundred dollar donation from Reverend Gumby with no comment. Thank you so much, Reverend Gumby. That was super super generous of you. And just in the thought chat, we are actually getting pretty close to fifty nine thousand dollars. We still have a little bit of ways to go, but I think we can hit that before the end of this run. With you guys are pr- you, you folks are pretty awesome. I think we can hit this very easily. The music is slowing down because uh, because Luigi's hurt. Uh, in the olden days, when I was first running, learning how to run this game, period, I was playing on the American version. I didn't have the Japanese, so I was taking double damage and in an easier version of the game, so that I was still like getting down to 40 HP and stuff. And if I wasn't at like 30 HP going into Vanguard then it, it didn't feel like a real run. Like, the, the best runs were the ones that were struggles like that. Oh, okay, just more damage. Why not? Okay, I got a double here. I can get my HP back. Nice. There's very few ch- chances to heal up here. So anything I can get, I'm going to take. There is a safety save spot up here. Taking note of where that boo was, I think it's in the, the chests, based on what the radar was doing. <clears throat> uh, the rooftop is probably my vote for the hardest room in the game, which is the next room, but I do get to save right before that. Nice. Do not want to get a soldier double today. Odds are I'm going to lose the pearls if I do that. These guys, uh, me casually, like, took my lunch money. These guys are tough. Uh, pulling them into the corner. Any ghost, really, if you get them into the corner, and then it's, like, the ways they can move. Looks like it's on the side. And it makes catching any ghost, portrait ghost especially, though, very, very easy. This is, I think, the fastest boo in the game, maybe the second fastest, so we're just going to R-pump like crazy and give him no chance to leave. Okay, so begins hardest room in the game. Big chance to heal here, actually. Never really goes right. Got a, got a three. Okay, that's fine. So these guys just kind of spawn everywhere on the rooftop. There's just ghosts everywhere of all types. Just the grabber remains now. I got my double off the start from between the uh, twirler and the garbage can ghost. And those are the highest HP ones. So. Getting them out of the way early was nice. That was actually a pretty nice rooftop. Okay. So in a hundred percent, you you do clear out all of the booze upstairs, and that's really what makes Area Four the hardest area of the game in most of the categories of this game. In in No Out of Bounds, you don't catch very many boos up here because they're hard. And they're random and it sucks. In 100% you catch them all and learning to deal with specifically the one in the telephone room there, uh, Boomerang, is like basically a rite of passage. That one is really annoying. Ow. I don't want to take too much damage here, please. Doing scare skips here to get a Luigi, avoid Luigi getting scared every time a ghost shows up. If I do them all, I can uh, flame those guys in the ceiling before the bombs really become a problem. Some HP back here. One of the one of the nice things about Pal that I really appreciate it for is that you kind of ping, ping pong your health constantly, like back and forth. So like you'll take. 20 damage in a room and immediately get like 40 back and sometimes you'll take 60 and then go into a room and get like 60 HP back in that room and it's really cool. Gonna get bonus money here because I need it. I think that guy went left. Uh, I would like to find the fake so I can tell if that dude comes back into this room. I think it's up here. Please be up here. Good. Mm -hmm. 
No, this is my favorite ghost in the game. This is Jarvis. If he'll talk to me, there he is. <laughs> so I um, normally would say I like Jarvis because he's just a little dude, but uh, I've learned so that he might actually be an octopus. Like he's an octopus ghost. Oh. Um, he lives in jars, and apparently there is like a traditional way of catching octopus in Japan, I believe specifically, that involves like using jars that they can't escape from. So he might actually be an octopus. He's still a little guy though, like octopus or not. We're gonna ask him to get his life together so we can pull him in the corner. Good job, Jarvis. Come on, cooperate. <laughs> So boo up top, boo down below. That was the real one. Okay, I can one cycle this one if I'm not bad. I'm trying to R pump every 10 HP. I've already messed that up, but this guy's kind of slow, so I might be able to get away with it. Oh, zero. I can still catch this one through the wall, though. There we go. Nice. So the other one is in here. No, it's not. It, the radar went to yellow again. I know where the other one is now. I do like the name on that last one, which was Tamburello in Italian at the top there. I've been trying to like pick up on some of the different <laughs> names up at the top to figure out some of the really cool ones. Or at least what they translate to in <laughs> Italian. I love that. Like that one, Farabuto. Farabuto. <laughs> Yeah, the localization on this is honestly really good. Getting puns. So many boo puns. Squeezed just, in here. I just want to be in the creative direction room of, all right, we need boo puns. And go. <laughs> they had to do these over... I like, the, I like that Boomerang is consistent among uh, language across languages, though. It's the same. Every language I've played this game in, it's always the same. I love that. Good, he went up. Controlling Boomerang again is like a rite of passage. We always want him to go up so we can just leave after we're done. Cool. That was honestly a pretty good attic and rooftop. Nice. This is my last chance to save for a minute, so I'm definitely going to take this opportunity. And in case I'm just going to kind of remind people. Now, again, I've been talking about the Symphony of the Night glitch showcase. That's tomorrow, but... Let's let's real talk for a second here, friends. We were not going to have much time tomorrow to get this unlocked before the glitch inside was supposed to happen. The best time to get this unlocked is tonight. And we're already seeing some movement there. We've got $270 towards that $2,000 incentive. We're already 13% of the way there. All of you have been so amazing already putting your donations in towards that glitch showcase. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Abby's Corner, who's running it, is going to be just showing some super awesome tricks and glitches and is going to love showing them to you. So make sure when you donate, put your incentive for your donation towards that incentive because we're not going to have much time tomorrow to get this a lot. We need to do it tonight, chat. So let's get it done. I think there's eight ghosts in that room at once. Uh, they pulled no punches. They pulled no punchers, I should say, since they're all purple punchers. <clears throat> I think there's actually too many ghosts in there to actually catch, like, all at once. I think there's a limit. I think you can only get six at once or something. So if you try to get a giant multi-catch, it just doesn't work. So we burn them down with ice. Money pace is looking much better now after all that extra money grabbing. Still can't get the bills out of that light. I, I swear I can't get them. I saved the boo in here for this trip because this boo has 150 HP. There's some money in pal. And it's a little tricky to catch if you don't clear out. Oh no, get that out of here. If you don't clear out all of the uh, soot piles. 
This is looking okay. I'm gonna have to move a little bit so I don't wanna be in the line of fire here. Good deal. And if I do that now, it has the bonus uh, benefit of allowing me to save here for another one of the hardest rooms in the game. And I have 60 HP going in here, so I'm really not that scared. Also, I just want to give a quick shout out to congrats chat for completing the community challenge of eating the faith pop. I see y'all popping off, so keep popping off for yourselves. Good job. I really would want to, I want to burn this guy down instead of catch him. It's faster to catch, but I get more chance to set up for this cycle. Iframes, please. Thank you. If I burn down. So. Not dead. Not fast. Oh, that guy showed up right where I wanted. And I didn't wait long enough. Please. No, Luigi. Okay, let's just do this boo first. Give him a chance to uh, hide in the other room if I don't one cycle him. So they made all of the boos in this game fast in the PAL version, except for this guy. This guy is still painfully slow, and I can't get up the ramp, Luigi. So we're just going to see if we can walk him back and forth. Oh, no, I was so close. That, uh, that mistake letting him go far right was just too much. You can one cycle that 300 HP boo just because they're so slow. And I'm above 50 HP here, which is a big deal, because the icicles in the next room deal 50 damage if you get hit by one. And commonly, you're not above 50 HP, and that's just run over if you die. Oh, wow. I don't know. need to check that, but... Cold storage usually does not hit you with icicles, though. It's, it's pretty rare. It is... Something you always think about, especially... Ouch! Okay, okay, okay. 40 damage, not 50? Or was that 68? Oh, goodness gracious. Alrighty. I see you, game. Don't drag me, Weston. I'm not dead, but I did get broken off and did not get the big pearl. Okay. Being a little too careful there. <laughs> Did not get the big pearl. All right, we're gonna we're gonna root for a save. I do have safety saves just in case things go sideways, but this is like one of the places that is just like the worst spot you can you can get. Please be the sh oh thank God it's the low HP one. Okay, there is my save. I'm now at four HP, but I'm not gonna die. I think what I'm going to do is um, save quit here. And go get that other one when I am fuller HP. Did I get the... I think I got the key. Uh-oh, I don't know if I got the key. Um, hmm. All right, we're just going to do a little bit of off-the-cuff stuff. I think I got the key. I think I always get the key. Um, there's one guaranteed big heart in this in the PAL version, and I, didn't, I was hoping I wouldn't have to use it, but I am going to have to go get this. As long as they don't hit by get hit by a green dude. All right, that's 50 HP out of nowhere. Ooh, there we, we go. are safe. So there is one boo downstairs that I do need to go get. Normally we get our diamond, our golden diamond, from catching all the boos upstairs. Um, but we're gonna get it downstairs now. So we're just gonna catch Bangor's boo and probably just save it out. Oh, I got that money already. I need fire going up here. Ooh, I really hope I got my uh, my key. I think I did. I don't think there's a world where I didn't. Uh, this room is one of the most creative changes to a room. I, I, I love this room. Because normally there's like the same type of ghosts in here, but normally the guys that are weak to water spawn in the second phase, so you have time to swap your water, um, swap your element. But in the PAL version, they spawn in the first phase, so you need fire to light the candles to spawn them but you need the water to actually damage them, so you end up having to swap your element mid-fight. Which is such a good change. 
They sound like they are quacking, and I am they, here for this. <laughs> they are. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get to do the big barbecue on the roof with six Shy Guys where it's really loud. Oh my gosh. But we get that one. I love that. And this is just the joy of how things going like, you know, I'm 60 something HP, I'm fine. And then getting down to what, four? And getting real uh, uncomfortable there. Mm -hmm. Want to save some water? I would like to get the plant in here for bonus money. Don't hit me, okay. Just in case. And if I run out of water, I can't go get that. That happened in my practice run as well, and I was exactly, uh, not exactly, I was 300,000 off, and the gem in here that I get with the water is 500. So I would have had enough if only I gotten that gem. And I knew that too. As soon as I, uh, I ran out of water, I knew I was gonna need it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's in the painting. So I'm down a pearl. I have like almost 900 bills. That's like, honestly, I think I'm okay. I have, my coins are really, really low. In other versions, you might have seen me go for um, a boo double here. You can do a boo double in this version where you like usher both boos out into the hallway and catch them both at the same time and EGAT only calls you once. Uh, but it's harder in this version because this one has a lot more HP. Side over here. So you have to get them both outside with like 90 HP or 80 HP or 70 or something. And this one's fast too, so sometimes you don't even get to 70 like that. I will say it's just the name, harder to organize. The name on that one was Bolivia. Oh, Bolivia is uh, alive and well in oh, Italian. That's that. good. <laughs> Shall we work on that Bolivia. one? You, you first. Bolivia is best girl, in my opinion, though. Agreed. I want to give a quick heads up for uh, Lemonlark with their $15 donation that said, uh, going back to the whole debate between Mario and Luigi, uh, picking between Mario and Luigi, why put kings against each other? Shout out to my partner and our three cats, Ethel, Winslow, and Blee Blue. Nice. Uh, let's get that Castlevania glitch showcase with a pet name train, Lemonlark. I like your way of thinking because I love talking about my pets and they're they're asleep nearby. So, chat, if you want me to give a shout out to your pets, which are the bestest pets in the whole world, make sure you go exclamation mark donate in chat and let me know why your pets are the cutest pets in the universe. Because all pets are best pets and I want to hear about them. So in the NTSC version, Vangor throws three ghosts at a time at you. Uh, in, in this version, he throws five, because why not? <laughs> and it's actually quite hard. Gotta make it just a bit more hard there, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, we burn these guys down. It's just as, about, about as fast for 20, 20 HP ghosts. <laughs> and those guys are really hard to clump. The Shy Guys, however, are very easy to clump, so we don't burn them down. No quacking, fortunately. And then the hardest five piece here is uh, these garbage can ghosts, because they're so fat, you just can't get them like, to clump, so you have to just kind of like throw Luigi up there in the corner. Only got four. Didn't slip on that banana peel. And then these guys are just as easy as before. They're all zero HP and weak to fire, so... Small barbecue. That was a really good Van Gore. <laughs> oh, missed a couple of pearls. So I think, yeah, I'm just going to save quit out of here. And, and the other benefit of doing this before going back down to that boo, oh nice, it moved right in there, is uh, that I'm, I was full HP after this room because you just get so many hearts in this room. So 
so I have no problems going to catch that other boo now. The name on this one was Boutique, which is Yeah, this is also Artist adorable. Studio, so it makes sense. Yep. <laughs> And I did have the key from downstairs. That's the, that's where the key was going to go. It unlocks uh, Van Gogh's room, so I'm glad I actually got the key. Cool. I actually get a very good save by catching this boo um, as well. Mario. I think uh, if I... if I'm just going to assume I won't die in the final fight. Hey, it's I finally got those bills. <coughs> but this game does a really sneaky thing in that it rewards you with the golden diamond right as you catch the boo. But it doesn't give you the diamond immediately unless you like really work for it. It's not over here. It's not over there either. Uh, so commonly what happens is you get the boo and save. Oh my goodness, where is this thing? And you don't get the diamond before you save. So if you die after getting that diamond, then you just don't get the diamond anymore. Because it, cease, it ceases to exist, and you can't catch the 50th boo anymore because you saved. So if I die with, uh, with, without saving after I get that diamond, then we're just like not going to have the diamond, and we're just going to you know, have 80% instead of 100%, technically. This is the fastest boo in the game, by the way. Uh, when this guy leaves the room, uh, he clips out of bounds. And you kind of cross your fingers and hope and pray that you can get this one in three cycles. Uh, nobody has ever gotten this uh, two cycles, I think, but once in a run. I think I'm going to get a four here. It went up. It's not that big of a deal because I'm going that way anyway. Did take a little bit of damage on the way here. Final Bowser is a very difficult boss fight. So I really would appreciate every little bit of HP I could have there. It's not much of a difference between 70 and 90, I feel, though. So I did not get my diamond before I save. If Final Bowser goes sideways, I think I'm just going to lose the diamond and uh, reload that save. Alright, here we go. Got a little bit of money I want to get in the altar to bolster my, my count. I think I'm going to hit... 900, 900 bills, and with the extra gem I got in Soupy's room, I, fingers crossed I have enough money. I think I'm going to be cutting it close, but I think I have enough. Similar to the practice run, I think I might need, might have needed that gem. And this is one of the coolest things, I think, about the 100% categories, is that you get to do your own money route and react to the luck you get, and like, hey, I lost a big pearl, that's a big deal. And like getting extra money along the way because you don't need literally everything. You need some of it and most of it. So every boss fight at the end of an area is different. This one is my least favorite. I think everybody should would agree on that. Least favorite change. The only way that this fight changes is that sometimes the spike balls that Bowser throws just explode fast. And they explode fast enough that you can't shoot them at him before they blow up. So you just have to kind of accept that that's a bad cycle and leave. The only way to work around that is if you do something called an insta-shot. And an insta-shot is like where you shoot the ball from the floor aiming up when you're not supposed to be able to do that. And that allows you to shoot the ball faster than it would normally blow up. And you can get around the, the bad cycle limitation like that. This fight is a lot of waiting if you don't get your insta shots though. And it's very easy to die on it. Because Bowser has a combo attack that deals like 50 damage. So, fingers crossed we get him. Shot high, but he didn't move. Oh, come on buddy. I really want him to throw a ball. Ugh. Okay, this is off script really bad. Don't suck me up. Uh, he didn't throw a ball because the balls were already out. This is a guaranteed... No, it's not a guaranteed good cycle. Okay, we're really off script now. I'm gonna just really try not to die. 
I'm gonna see it. if this is a good one. Yeah, bad cycle. They're starting to flash immediately, so. Extra heart for free. But yeah, he just has to throw a good a good spike ball. I practiced insta shots a lot before this run and just didn't get them. And missing the first one is the worst because it's really hard to work around missing that first one. Still can get a two cycle. It just will be forever and a day until I can get another good. No, it's not a two cycle anymore. Okay, so we're going for a three cycle. Just give me good cycles, Bowser. I can do insta shots like freehand on the floor here, but if I'm not careful, I can soft lock. If I shoot him before the third ball, oh yeah, careful. And if I get bonked by a ball and then he does that suction attack, I take 50 damage plus whatever the ball would do to me. So I think like from 80, I would just die immediately. I um, might be dead. Not dead because I have 60, but I am at 10 HP. <laughs> this is why this fight sucks on pal. So if I get hit at all for the rest of the fight, I'm dead. And I included stuff like this in the estimate. So one death is not going to be the end of the world. Hopefully I can get around. Come on, give me a good cycle. He's just not giving me good ones. And this is like the worst example of making a boss fight hard is just making it so that you can't interact with it. Another bad one. To, to our knowledge, I believe this is just totally random too, whether it, it works or not. Oh my goodness, dude. And this fight is really brutal, um, kind of normally. Oh, that fire. Like, even the NTSC version is hard. Okay. This is a good cycle. Please don't blow me up. Just need to get him to 200. Cool. Anything above, or 200 and above, uh, the head stays on forwards. And we can possibly get another spike ball immediately. Might have been a better idea to get him to run around madly and give me some more hearts, though. Bad cycle. No worries. I'm a little close to the wall here. I think I'm fine. Yeah, bad cycle anyway. That's a mushroom. Him throwing spike balls is like a distance thing, so I need to be a, like a certain distance away for him to throw spike balls. Come on, give me a good one. Nope. This is one of the worst patterns he's ever given me. I just want to finish the game, dude. I just want to finish the game. Stop! Come on! I've gotten like three good cycles and one was the first one that I went for. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I was dead. I'm sweating big time. Oh god, Luigi's hustling. Please. Please. Chat, give Spudge your energy. Please throw me a good cycle. Oh my god, it's still bad. <sighs> Please. I've dodged so many. Oh my goodness, dude. I cannot believe. He almost hit me with that fire again, too. Come on, dude. Oh, thank God, it's good. I did not blow up that other ball right next to him, so I need to be away from that. Okay, we should be good. There we Time. go! Woo! Gee, <laughs> <sighs> jeez. Oh my goodness, dude. So I was on like less than, I was on pace to PB by over a minute before that went sideways. And I ended up like over three minutes above the PB. Oh my gosh. After that, that, that fight, but the fact that it comes at the end, like for people who run NTSC, doing the King Boo one cycle probably feels so, sort of similar where it's the hardest thing in the game that you probably do. And hitting it at the end of the run when all the nerves are there is just the worst. It feels so hard, even if you practice it over and over and over.
And this is kind of the same way. If you miss one insta shot, it just devolves into chaos. But we got to watch this last cut scene. Uh, we do need to count the money. This is a unique category. So you can roll some donations while we're waiting for the money to show up. Absolutely. We actually uh, just want to point out a quick love for um, somebody with good Luigi taste. As much as I love Danny Wells from, uh, from Truffles W73 who donated $5, as much as I love Danny Wells, John Leguizamo will always be my Luigi. Shuckles, I see you, and I'm. I agree that oh, I love them both. So thank you for that five dollar donation. Uh, in terms of pet names, we are getting the pet names rolling in, and there are two people that have a very similar mindset with their pets. We have a twenty five dollar donation from Osher who says Clementine the cat is the best pet. She has a snaggle tooth and a lot to say. Uh, Pyrozyme says, with $10, also says, shout out to my pet babies, Vincent, Judas, and Clementine. Different Clementine, but Clementine. They are truly the best. Love watching speed running with them and my wife. Thank you all for your wonderful, gener generous donations. And honestly, keep these pet names coming in. I love hearing them. I will love talking about my pets and also, that safe room glitch showcase, we're almost a quarter of the way there already. Chat, you are absolutely amazing and generous. Thank you so much for that. Oh, that was a good sign. Okay, so if I didn't get that gem in Sue P's room, mm -hmm. uh, I would have lost it by a coin. <gasps> a single oh coin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, so that was really close. Uh, all of that damage I took in Bowser... Like actually mattered if I didn't get that gem. No way. That's so crazy. GG's oh. on that. It's val it's a valid run. I'm so happy that Yay. I didn't die. Four HP into <laughs> that and I didn't die. Well done. <laughs> Incredible. Oh. Before you can officially give your, your voice a chance to rest, uh Spud, Lee, where can the wonderful people watching you find the two of you. What are you playing right now? Uh, this, obviously, I'm going to get top five eventually. Going to get, definitely. I've been on yeah. pace for it many times. Um, but uh, other than Luigi, I play a whole lot of other games of all, ki of all kinds. Um, I really like Metroidvanias. I like um, puzzle games, RPGs, like whatever. You can watch me play a lot of games blind and a lot of speedruns of this. Maybe F-Zero GX speedruns at some point if I feel it in me. And yeah, cozy times all around. And Lee, how about you? Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, you could just find me at the 20-something loser. <laughs> That's it. But again, amazing run here. Spud, you did great. <laughs> GG's and chat gives some love to Elite Spud for that wonderful Luigi's Mansion, 100% pal. That was amazing to see.